Battlezone is a first-person shooter tank combat arcade game from Atari, Inc. released in November 1980. The player controls a tank which is attacked by other tanks and missiles. Gameplay The game uses wireframe vector graphics on a black and white with green and red section color overlay vector monitor. Gameplay is on a flat plain with a mountainous horizon featuring an erupting volcano, distant crescent moon, and various geometric solids in vector outline like pyramids and blocks. The player can hide behind the solids or, once fired upon, maneuver in rapid turns to buy time with which to fire. The geometric solid obstacles are indestructible, and can block the movement of a player's tank. However, they are also useful as shields as they block enemy fire as well. The player views the screen, which includes an overhead radar view, to find and destroy the rather slow tanks, or the faster-moving supertanks. Saucer-shaped UFOs and guided missiles occasionally appear for a bonus score. The saucers differ from the tanks in that they do not fire upon the player and do not appear on radar. Cabinet Battlezone was housed in a standard upright arcade cabinet with a novel, periscope, viewfinder which the player used to view the game. The game action could also be viewed from the sides of the viewfinder for spectators to watch. A later, less common version of the cabinet removed the periscope to improve visibility to non-players and improve the ergonomics for players who could not reach the periscope. This modification also was welcomed by some operators, who felt that the small windows present in the periscoped version did not attract enough attention to the game when played. A smaller version of the cabinet, known as a cabaret cabinet, also existed with the screen angled upwards, and no periscope. A cocktail table version was tested as a prototype but not produced, it lacked the color overlays as the display would have to flip for opposing players. The controls consisted of left and right joysticks, which could only be moved in the Y vertical axis, each controlling the treads on that side of the player's tank. One joystick contained a button used to fire projectiles at enemy targets. <laughs> Home ports In the 1980s, Battlezone was ported to the Apple II, Atari 8-bit family, Atari 2600, Commodore 64, VIC-20, IBM PC, ZX Spectrum, and later the Atari Street. The ZX Spectrum version was published by Quicksilva. The ports to non-Atari systems were from AtariSoft. The Atari 2600 version uses raster graphics instead of vectors and has a third-person view where the tank is visible. The Atari Street port contains large parts of the original 6502 code which is emulated in real time. An Atari 5200 port was scheduled for release in November 1983, but was cancelled. The Atari Lynx has the deluxe port Battlezone 2000 released in 1995. A Game Boy port was part of the 1996 Battlezone – Super Breakout combo. In 2008, an updated version of Battlezone was released on Xbox Live Arcade. The game was developed by Stainless Games and published by Atari Inc. It features 1080i graphics, Dolby 5.1 audio and an online mode to play against 2-4 friends in deathmatch and capture the flag modes, and incorporates Xbox Live Vision support. Reception Battlezone was well received, earning an honorable mention for Best Commercial Arcade Game", in 1982 at the third annual Archie Awards. It was runner-up, behind Pac-Man. The Bradley Trainer A version called the Bradley Trainer also known as Army Battlezone or Military Battlezone was designed for use by the U.S. Army as targeting training for gunners on the Bradley fighting vehicle. It was commissioned by a consultant group of retired generals, approaching Atari in December 1980. Some developers within Atari refused to work on the project because of its association with the Army, most notably original Battlezone programmer Ed Rotberg. Rotberg only joined after he was promised by management that he would never be asked to do anything with the military in the future. 
According to Rotberg, it took him three months of constant work to develop the prototype version of the Bradley trainer. Only two were produced, one was delivered to the Army and is presumed lost, and the other is in the private collection of Scott Evans, who found it by a dumpster in the rear parking lot at Midway Games. The gunner yoke was based on the Bradley fighting vehicle control and was later reused in the popular Star Wars game. The Bradley trainer differs dramatically from the original Battlezone as it features helicopters, missiles, and machine guns. Furthermore, the actual tank does not move. The guns simply rotate. Topic: <laughs> Legacy. Because of its use of first-person pseudo 3D graphics combined with a viewing goggle, that the player puts his or her face into, Battlezone is sometimes considered the first virtual reality arcade video game. Pandemic Studios developed an authorized Battlezone game, published by Activision in 1998. Despite having the same name, it is not an arcade game, but a more complicated tank piloting strategy game. Battlezone 2, Combat Commander is the 1999 sequel. A reimagining of Battlezone was developed by Paradigm Entertainment and released for the PlayStation Portable. In 2013, Rebellion Developments bought the Battlezone franchise from the Atari bankruptcy proceedings. In 2016, a virtual reality game titled Battlezone was released for the PlayStation 4. It was ported to the PC in 2017. It supports Oculus Rift, HTC Vive and PlayStation VR. Topic. Clones Stellar 7, a Battlezone-inspired game, was released for the Apple II and Commodore 64 in 1983. Robot Tank, released by Activision in 1983 for the Atari 2600, is similar to the 2600 version of Battlezone. Encounter 1984 for the Atari 8-bit computers and Commodore 64 is also similar to 2600 Battlezone. It includes both the missiles and saucers of the original. A clone named 3D Tank Zone was released on the Acorn Electron and BBC Micro in 1983 by Dynabyte, 3D Tank Duel and Rommel's Revenge by Realtime Games and Crystal Computing respectively were released for the Sinclair Spectrum in 1983 and 1984, shortly before the Atari authorized version was released by Quicksilva. A TRS-80 color computer clone called Rommel 3D and was released in 1985. Another clone from Design Design Software was released as Tank Busters in the mid-80s for the Amstrad CPC. A Battlezone clone for Apollo Domain, OS called Bazone was written by Justin S. Revenaugh in 1986 and rewritten for the X Window System by Todd Mummert in 1990. The X Window System version, CB Zone, differed from the original arcade version in that the player could be attacked by more than one enemy tank at the same time. This version of the game was also ported to the Macintosh in the 1990s and was included in the Umish Software Archive. The 1991 Macintosh tank game Spectre and its sequels owe much to Battlezone for their gameplay and appearance. SGI workstations had a Battlezone-derived game in the early 1990s called BZ which added network play. BZ also had guided missiles, where the player would fly the missile after launch, returning to the tank on impact. This version evolved into the game BZ Flag with a capture the flag mode where flags can change the tank's abilities. See also Golden Age of Video Arcade Games List of Arcade Video Games